And if there is a country that has committed unspeakable atrocities in the world, it is the United States of America. They don't care. They don't care for, the human, for human beings. Fifty-seven years ago, when Japan was retreating on all fronts, they decided to drop the atom bomb in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Killed a lot of innocent people who are still suffering from the effects of those bombs. Those bombs were not aimed against the Japanese. They were aimed against the Soviet Union to say, look, this is the power that we have. If you dare oppose what we do, this is what is going to happen to you. Because they are so arrogant, they decided to kill innocent people in Japan who are still suffering from that. Who are they now to pretend that they are the policemen of the world? What I am condemning, what I am condemning is that one power with a president who has no foresight, who cannot think properly, <laughs> is now wanting to plunge the world into a holocaust. And I'm happy that uh, the people of the world, especially those of the United States of America, are standing up and opposing their own president. I hope that that opposition will one day make him understand that he has made the greatest mistake of his life in trying to bring about carnage and uh, to police the world without any authority from the international body. It is something we have to condemn without reservation.